Holmes, how are we doing? Thanks for stopping by. I'm Don, welcome to the channel. If you see something you like uh, or interest you, please uh, hit the subscribe button. First and foremost, I'm new at this. Um, I've learning, I'm learning a lot um, from preppers and everything about things to be prepared with and different things that they carry with them on their person. I've been carrying stuff for years. I didn't know it was as popular as it is. Um, so basically what I have here is stuff that I had in the backpack, a backpack pack that I've carried for quite a while. It's a smaller pack. Um, it was a little bit more than this, but this is just stuff that I want to make sure I have into the next one. Ordered a new bag. It should be in um, probably tomorrow, I hope, uh, shipping in from Amazon. I'll be doing a, a video on that, uh, unboxing and everything. Anyway, down to business. First of all, um, as for flashlights, I carry an old light uh, around my neck. So I have a flashlight on my, my firearm. I have a stream light on my firearm. So when it comes to flashlights in my bag, it's just uh, it, these are ones that if I use it and I lose it, it's no big deal. But I have a Bushnell flashlight. It's got the striking points on the front. You really need it to. This one here is a Nebo. It's like a pen light, um, but it's got a nice cone beam. I like it. Uh, in my bag, I also carry my tactical gloves, the hard rubber knuckles, uh, fingers, tips, gone. Don't like those. Um, I carry some snack bars, just in case. You never know when you're gonna get hungry. You need some energy. Let's see here, batteries. I carry AA, AAA. I have, uh, CR one twos or CR twos and uh, the um, the one two three batteries which I have in um, in my other case that that I have for my for my firearm light. Uh, let's see first aid, just minor stuff right now. I'm building on that. I've been watching that guy uh, Skinny Medic. I really like him. He's got a lot of stuff. A lot of people could learn from him. Um, there there are others too. Um, Oh God, I can't even think of the names of everybody. Anyway, <laughs> let's, I won't go there now. But um, anyway, so yeah, so I've got some gauze pads. I've got some some gauze wrap. I've got some band-aids, just minor stuff. This is a stretchy elastic bandage, so you can tighten up that wound. Uh, rubber gloves. I always have more than one pair. I keep a pair in my pocket. I have a pair in my coat. Um, just about anything I'm wearing, I make sure I have gloves with because of the simple fact of if so if you if you get to an area and there's an injury and you're trying to help you want to protect yourself so any open wounds could, could cause you a life of misery so but it's still wrong to just walk away I always try to help that's my motto um, anyway uh, for that same purpose I have a reflective vest um, glow sticks glow sticks come in handy all the time I remember years ago I was in a Walmart and uh, it was winter I can't even, I don't remember what we were there for but the power went out and it was in the evening and I had these with me and I broke a couple of them, put them around my boys so that they had them little lights until we were out of there and back in the car and everything. But but they do they do come in handy. Um, carabiners. These are these are um, these are lifesavers sometimes. I've used them for all kinds of things, including strapping down Christmas trees on the roof of the SUV. Um, I've got uh, matches. I've got the uh, Ferris rod and striker in here. Doesn't need to be expensive for it to work. Uh, that hangs on the outside of the bag. If somebody decides to take it, hey, maybe they need it more than I did. Uh, CKRT, this is my little CKRT blade, razor sharp. I love this. Usually keep it in an area outside the pack so that it's easy to grab. Uh, these. Two of them, little coast knives. I got them when I bought something uh, that I needed for work. They were a bargain at the register, so I grabbed those. I don't even know what you would call this. It's like a little multi-tool. I've had it forever. It's got a little saw blade, bottle opener, kind of like a little little blade you could shave with there. It's pretty sharp, actually. Uh, another little tool, my Kershaw multi-tool. Spare pair of uh, glasses. Not glasses, glass, they're reading glasses. I'm going blind in my old age. Um, also, first aid, I have a uh, an Eli's Aid CPR 30 plus two, a CPR mask. Uh, for the most part, they're not used too much anymore. It's pretty much just chest compressions nowadays, but uh, I do have an IM certified. Also, I have a uh, handcuff key. You never know when that might come in handy. Um, this is a key ring, it's called a Cubaton. 
I have one on my keys. This is an extra one. I've actually passed them out through my family. I got a, a bulk of them and you know, you never know, you know, walking to your car, your wife's walking to her car, you know, keep it in arm's distance, you know, your daughters. Um, of course I have my, oh, what is it? Came with my shears. tourniquet in there nice little case I like this because I can hook it on the mollies on my new bags I can have it on the outside I can have it on the inside whichever I choose uh, let's see lock picks a lot of places you're not allowed to have them but I have them anyway I keep them in my bag it's not for any devious purpose just uh, in case I get stuck somewhere um, also um, some places I can't carry my firearm so I do have a, uh, a baton so, I actually have a couple of these. One of these I keep in my car because you never know. But, uh, yep, nice little baton. And, uh, well, this is what's in here right now, but this is going to be built on. So, uh, please uh, subscribe. Check me out. Um, well, check me out. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is nothing. When I fill up the new bag, it's going to have a lot more in it. I'm thinking about keeping a change of clothes in there, too, just in case. You know, you never know what's going to happen. But uh, when I get the bag, I'll show it. It's actually, uh, the bag is actually four pieces. You got two molly packs on each side. The front of the bag comes off. You can actually wear it around your waist. No, it's not a fanny pack, but you can wear it around your waist. Um, you can wear it over your shoulder. And then it's got the regular backpack. But uh, you'll see that if you if you tune in and look. But um, other than that, you folks, uh, you folks have a good weekend. Enjoy. Everybody be safe. Be careful. And remember, chance favors the prepared mind. Have a good one.